What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, we are finally here. The Steam version is out. I'm currently logged in. Here is how you get your account to link from your other account if you're playing on mobile. Okay, so you click on these three buttons here. You go link data. Make sure that you are linked as a Square Enix member. That is the only way to really do this properly. So put in your email address and your password and you'll log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys how it's done. And then you should be able to play your game from there. So give me two seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and log in and show you guys how the transfer is complete. And then you'll see the transfer is complete correctly. And then you should be able to log in on both mobile and PC at the same time, or at least in different in, in different ways. And you can play both of them on two different platforms. Okay, so give me two seconds. And I'll show you guys how that's done. And then we'll be right back. All right, guys, so there you guys go. So transfer save data, uh, purchased virtual currency zero crystals, free virtual currency 2610. This is my free to play account. If you click proceed to transfer, you see the save data has been transferred successfully. You now, you now may return to the game and go ahead and go back to the top of the page. And then this should take you guys back to where you need to be in order to play the game. So from there, if you click enter or the press the start button, this will automatically take you over to the actual game itself. Okay, so here you guys go. And I should be connected now once in a while you are going to see an error that may happen right so when you do see that error don't stress about it just uh, get out of the game re-log back in and it should automatically get you guys saved up and ready to go so that's how you transfer guys the easiest way is become a square enix member with your password and your email address and you guys should be able to log into this and play the game as you normally would on your mobile phone now you guys can see the crispness and the look of the and feel of this game is way different on steam it looks incredible the sound is much better there's no issues with emulators there's no issues with mobile phones heating up the steam version is going to be that much better now we've got a few things to look forward to and i'm going to get into that as soon as this patch downloads i'll be right back all right guys so as we wait here for the update to continue on steam i'm going to give you guys some big big news that is happening so remember these are spoilers these are leaks so if you do not want to see them please shut this part of the video off and we will see you guys in another one but for now we have some very very big news so let's start off with the basic stuff okay so we have a brand new Aerith banner going to be dropping very soon and this is going to be it right here it's called the fairy of snowfall which her outfit here looks pretty damn amazing not gonna lie uh boost hp ice mastery boost ice ability damage so you can guess she's going to be an ice damage dealing unit so we're going to show you guys her weapon here as well as barrett's weapon believe it or not and that is the stalworth fate which is going to be a micro laser. Uh, so it drastically increases the magic attack of a single ally, restores up to 13% healing potency, and grants regen. So he's actually going to be getting a weapon banner, uh, but just not a costume, looks like. So boost heal, boost fire resist, which is going to be his weapon. Not very good. It's very similar to what Garnet's was in terms of Garnet's rod for the... Um, uh, for the radar banner for for Aerith when it came to the crossover but snowflake here deals up to 540 percent ice damage to a single enemy and reduces the enemy's magic defense boost magic attack is the r ability and boost ice potency is going to be the ice ability or r ability for this weapon so this is going to be the brand new ice weapon used for magic attack for Aerith. so you guys can probably guess this is going to be a fairly powerful weapon for the upcoming event which most likely will either be earth or ice specialty related now the only problem i find here with this entire thing is the ice mastery in her outfit is probably going to be only 20 or 25 percent instead of the uh, the arcanum which is 35 percent so keep that in mind the outfit will probably do a little bit less in terms of ice mastery damage okay so keep that in mind remember you also have sephiroth who is ice um ice related with his 35 percent garb and his edged wings which also gives you more right so this may be a skip for many people i do love the outfit though but for me personally that's a skip now even bigger news than this and i think this is probably going to be the huge one here is the introduction of bahamut that's right guys 100 days since and release countdown campaign so when we hit that 100 day mark Log in and get up to the following blue crystals, 1,000 blue crystals, 30 draw tickets. Also complete missions to get a total of draw tickets times 100, which is wild. And even bigger news is the arrival of Bahamut. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to see this uh, iteration of Bahamut, whether it's going to be the Bahamut from Rebirth, or I should say Remake, um, or if we're going to see the old school just remade somehow, right? And also, is this going to be a summon battle or is this going to be an event where we just battle him 
and that's it. We don't get to summon him afterwards. We don't get to do any summon stream with him because originally the idea was to release Leviathan. That was supposed to be the next big release for the summon battles. So the fact that Bahamut does arrive early is a is pretty big deal. Now this is the king of the dragons. This is the king of the summon. So this is a little premature in my opinion, but I can't really say that it's not a, an unwelcome thing because they also did introduce Sephiroth as the first ever critical threat and crisis battle being his the most obviously sought after unit in the game we fought him very early on in the release of this game so Bahamut arriving early is not I guess is not unreal I, this this looks like this is for sure going to be happening uh, but again I'm not sure if this is going to be an event or if this is going to be Bahamut being a summon battle and then we can eventually summon for him and use him as a non-elemental uh, entity to do damage using Mega Flare and his regular Flare attacks, right? So very, very excited for this. Uh, this is the 100 days since and release countdown. We're almost there already, actually, to be honest. I think we've had the 77 days like a couple weeks ago. So we're arriving at the 100 day mark very, very soon. So we should be seeing this come out along with the release of Steam in the next year. Obviously, Steam is already here now, but I'm talking about like this should be released very soon afterwards. Uh, so hoping within the next year, like within the month of January, we should be seeing this release or maybe the end of this month. But again, 100 ticket draws for, for is, is very is very um, generous and the thousand blue crystals is nice. We should also be getting some blue crystals with the release of Steam. So once I log in here, I should be seeing some blue crystals drop as well for me in order to save up for the next banner. So there you guys have a couple different things to note. Uh, Stalworth Fate, again, is going to be a banner for Barrett with no outfit unfortunately but the magic ability up and then snow snowflake will be the uh brand new Aerith weapon for magic attack for ice personally going to be skipping this one because i already have sephiroth edge wings for magic attack and then fairy of snowfall is going to be the outfit we expect to see for Aerith, giving boost hp and ice mastery for her if you plan to make Aerith your full-on dps all right guys this is pain hope you enjoyed the video remember these leaks are here for us if you don't want to watch them, remember to skip them. I give everybody a spoiler warning ahead of time. Uh, outside of that, guys, I think that pretty much covers all of the um, upcoming releases. If you guys do want to know what the weapon is going to be for Barrett, I can show you that real quick as well. This is the free weapon that Barrett's going to get from the Hellhouse Cannon. Uh, deals up to 360% non-elemental damage to a single enemy and reduces physical attack. So not a bad weapon overall. Does have a debuff associated to it. And then boost HP is going to be the R ability. So this is going to be the free weapon to expect from the Hellhouse critical threat that's coming up very soon. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.